we have in this week's Parsha a remarkable human moment that we see from one of the giants of Chumash. Yosef's life was ostensibly ruined by his brothers. They debated killing him. They decided not to. Then they threw him into a pit, leaving him to die. They themselves admit to each other in last week's Parsha that he begged them to save him and they callously ignored him. And then ultimately they decide to sell him. When they sell him, he ultimately ends up in Egypt. He was involved in a scandalous accusation that of course was false. He got thrown into prison. And then through a remarkable turn of events, he ends up as Viceroy of Egypt. And now he's reunited with his brothers. How will he react to them? How will he interact with them? We see in this week's Parsha, uh, quite understandably, once the brothers recognize, after he reveals himself, that indeed it's Yosef, they're, they're so frightened of him. Who knows what he's going to say? Who knows what he's going to do? And the two psukim that summarizes, that summarize Yosef's reaction to them are, are really remarkable and it, it's very significant for us to reflect on this in our own lives. Yosef says to them, don't be upset that you sold me. Loosely summarized because this was part of God's plan. Because you sold me to Egypt, there was a strange chain of events. I ended up as viceroy of Egypt. There's a terrible famine that's not yet over and I'll be able to provide for our family. Yosef is ready to move on. It's fascinating, in next week's Parsha, it, it seems the brothers can't fully comprehend that he's really ready to move on. They, they think maybe once Yaakov is dead, he's going to really let them have it. He doesn't. He's really ready to move on. Is it because he thinks they were right? No, he doesn't think they did the right thing. Is it because he didn't have pain? No, he had terrible pain. He's able to look at the circumstances and say, this was part of God's plan. And in his specific circumstance, he can even understand the value of why this all occurred, or at least partially understand the value of why this all occurred. But the core of what he's saying to them is, you did the wrong thing. I'm ready to move on. And my pain was not from you. My pain was because God allowed this to happen in my life. This, is, this outlook is far easier discussed than implemented in one's own life. But it's a very significant thing to think about. How many of us are holding a grudge against someone in our lives? And many, many times we have very good reason to hold the grudge. And we try, sometimes we try to get over it and it's so difficult to do because we were right and they were wrong. Or they caused us so much pain or both of those. And to somehow say to oneself that if the person did the wrong thing, that's between God and them. What I'm focused on, what makes me so interested about this is what happened to me. And I need to understand that what happened to me is between me and God. If a person can reflect on this and change their outlook towards another individual, it's a remarkable and very, very significant lesson to absorb from this week's Parsha. Have a wonderful Shabbos.